Between 7 and 10 million Americans suffer with something called essential tremor, uncontrollable shaking, making it the most common movement disorder. It typically causes tremors in the hands or other parts of the body. A Tyler man suffered for years with this debilitating disease until he learned about a treatment. ETMC offers a procedure called Deep Brain Stimulation, or DBS, and followed this patient's progress from the surgery to months later. We want to do something we normally don't do. This is a story produced and provided to us by ETMC. We saw it and thought you'd want to see this remarkable story as well. Music helps me relax. Kind of shut the world off for a while and sit and play. Playing rock music has been a passion for Todd Glass since he was a teen. But listening to him knock out these power chords today, you wouldn't know there was a time when his hands and brain were not in tune. My mother started noticing it when I was about two years old. Uh, my hands would shake when I'd wake up from a nap. For years, he suffered with debilitating tremors. It was annoying more than anything. I, I could fight it, fight my way through it. You know, I could lock up my arm in my, in my uh, upper body and control it. Todd is a well-known luthier, someone who repairs and tunes guitars. There's a lot of solder work and little bitty screwdrivers and little bitty screws. And yeah, it was, it was hard to do when, when I had the shakes. One of Todd's friends, Tyler neurosurgeon Dr. Paul Detweiler, told him about deep brain stimulation, or DBS, a surgical procedure that helps patients with essential tremors or Parkinson's disease. Dr. Detweiler was over at my house and we were playing guitar and he saw me shaking and all went from there. He said, you know, I can fix that for you and kind of went from there. Interestingly enough, had accepted his deficit and had accepted that he was going to have it for the rest of his life and then I come along and tell him you know I, basically I can make these go away and I just don't think he frankly believed it. Dr. George Plotkin, medical director at the ETMC Movement Disorders Center, discussed DBS with Todd. He was struggling to do anything and he was not able to do what he loved doing. So he is the ideal candidate. The medicines weren't working and so we felt that he would be a great candidate for this procedure. DBS targets areas in the brain that control movement. The patient is awake for the procedure in order to calibrate the adjustments. When we first pulled the guitar out before we did anything and he played, I couldn't believe that he could barely hold it. I thought it was going to fly off the table. And then after we put the electrodes in and he was able to just sit there and, and play a lead that he had learned when he was younger but hadn't been able to play in a long time. You could tell that he was sort of in a state of disbelief that he was able to do something that 10 minutes before he wasn't able to do. The anesthesiologist's jaw dropped. Uh, most of us in the room wanted to be able to hold up a match and just say, you know, more. But we were busy trying to do our surgery. But it, uh, it worked immediately and was a very impressive result. I don't know how to explain it. It, it was amazing. I, I don't know any other way to say it. To be able to help somebody go from not being able to do a hobby that they've enjoyed for so long to being able to play comfortably, that just improves their quality of life so much. This gives me daily enlightenment. It's, it's, it's kind of revelation. Today, Todd is rediscovering how to rock out his favorite songs. I've always liked uh, Ozzy Osbourne's Crazy Train, and that, that one's really hard to play. And uh, I'm, I'm still working on it now. The anxiety he felt with simple tasks is now gone. If I need to do anything with my hands, I got it covered. I don't have any fear of going somewhere. And You know, like going out to dinner was always kind of scary. You know, am I going to spill this or am I going to drop this or, you know, embarrass myself? But I don't have that now. He called me to complain that he, after the fact, that he went to play golf and now he was going to have to relearn the whole game because now he didn't have tremors. 
in the end, he made the decision and he never looked back. And it definitely has been a huge life changer for him. It, it's definitely worth it. Remarkable story, huh? ETMC began offering the procedure in 2002 and since have treated hundreds of patients.